Well, hello. I am going to shoot a video in my car that's probably best shot almost anywhere besides in a car. As a matter of fact, it'd probably be shot way better on that picnic table back there behind me. It might be too sweaty out there, though. Let's find out. It's actually not that hot out here for Florida today, but... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get enough light to shoot this video that I want to shoot. Let's give it a shot. Alright, a few months ago I was at Walmart, you know, shopping for whatever, and I ran into this Lego Dots Disney bracelet collection. Now, I am, of course, a Disney fan, but I'm a huge Lego fan, and I'm also a big fan of bracelets. And I thought, you know what, this might be a lot of fun to do an unboxing of and also to just enjoy. So, as you can see, what the front looks like. Uh, on the back it does say there are 22 surprise decos and if you can see on the camera, they are Disney related. There are, looks like five bracelets included, lots of standard color pieces. I'm not 100% sure these are going to fit most standard adult wrists. I, it did say that it can fit some, but we're going to find out the hard way. Alright, now that I mostly destroyed the box in order to get this tray out, there's nothing else in the box. It's empty. And it does come with this handy tray for storing your supplies in. Obviously good for, you know, a bracelet making party something like that or taking to your charger and making a bracelet while you wait for your car to charge okay so I don't really know much about the dot system but I do believe it's more than just this bracelet stuff um, yeah see down here it shows another dots kit that is not bracelet related and other items that seem to be related to the dots product line but not bracelet related also ah but there are many bracelet ideas here clearly not a lot of instructions but you know it's legos it's bracelets where are you going to go wrong all right so first let's note the size of this bracelet they're all the same length it looks like and I, you know, I'm not a petite gal. I'm fairly good size. And uh, it looks like I'll be able to wear it still. I've got a few different notches. I don't know if Hippie would be able to wear one. He's got pretty big hands. We'll see. But there's your starting point. Of course, you've got red, yellow, blue, black, and white. And then you've got various colors of yellow in here, red and oranges in here, blues and greens, pinks and purples. Here are the special ones it looks like. There's clear ones and obviously characters. Very cute and black and white and as you can see from this there's different shapes in there there's not just circles there's not just corner pieces there's squares uh, it's like half circles there's lots of different shapes here so i guess i'm going to go ahead and empty these bags into their little container areas so they're easier to you know get to the goods when you're creating, obviously. It is pretty cool that it comes with this container because otherwise, you know, you're losing all of these pieces forever. Come on, little guy. Uh oh, difficult. Uh oh. The wind looks like it might try to whip my stuff away. Let's do a little damage control. Okay.
Hey, hey, you get back in there. All right. Well, as you can see, we got all our pieces parts in there. Let's see how this lid goes on. I mean, I wouldn't think this would ride great through an earthquake, but I don't know, maybe. That'd be okay, though, for most standard uses. Keep in mind, when assembling bracelets outdoors, not to put your feet in fire ants, because that hurts. But, in any case, let's see if we can make a bracelet, or at least get one started. I don't really know where I'm going with this design idea yet. I kind of looked at some of the other designs and went, eh, you know, that's cool and that's cute and whatever, but I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan and that might show up in the quality of my work here. I am not sure. So you can see the little pieces, you know, obviously like Legos, they fit together. But you could make, you know, oh, I just thought of a cute idea. You can make, you know, whatever, whatever your little mind can dream of. Like I just made a little heart. See, that's cute, right? So uh, I like that. So I'm going to go into another color and maybe see about repeating a similar type of pattern. Wait, that's going the wrong way. There, oh, oh no! Into the fire ants. Wait, I'm gonna go from this side. I wanna go from this side, you guys. the right yellow that's a different yellow I think man they gotta mess with me with different kinds of yellow all right eh, that's more like it right cute another heart nice so you guys can see this is obviously very elementary you don't need a lot of skills to be putting these things together but um, you know what sometimes Having fun is more important than having great skills, right? I don't know. I don't know if that's really true. It sounded good. It's probably not real. All right, so I've obviously created three different little heart kind of patterns down the row. Now, I do want to use some of the specialty um, uh, little pieces, obviously. So here I found me a, uh, a Mickey. I put him on sideways. I don't like that. Let's get your stuff straight here, Mickey. That's cute, right? Got a little Mickey action going on. Sorry if I'm going off camera, guys. Sorry. And uh, who else we got here? That's another Mickey. I could go with a little Donald action. Yeah, pretty cute, right? Yeah. On this one, I'm just going to go with a sparkly. Now, I do have some concerns about the durability of wearing something like this and not losing your blocks you know because it's flexible you're moving you're going you're doing things especially you know little kids you know they're really going and doing stuff sometimes so I'm not sure but I'm gonna try to finish this up and we'll see how it fits on an adult okay all right fire ants are literally the worst um, I think I got bit about three times but here's my finished product I think I like it I did switch out for an old-school Mickey and an old-school mini because I like those and how's how that's how I finished up my pattern 
So here we go. This could be very tricky to put on by myself as our many bracelets. Oh, you guys, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, so far, nothing has popped free. That's a win. That is a win. I do have a little room still. Obviously not made for a very large wrist but cute interchangeable i could change this up a million times obviously i've got four other options i really kind of dig this you guys if you want to see me make another video or i make another bracelet please let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what you think about this product i think it's a lot of fun honestly very easy very fun good for all ages